Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a ALV output as an email attachment and as a part of that we finished with the first five steps and in the last video we started with the sixth step that is the creation of the document and as a part of that we simply used the one of the most important class CL underscore document underscore BCS. We used this method. We prepared the subject. We prepared the body of the mail. And we are getting the object of this particular class in the return. Now we will simply go for this particular parameter. We will provide the value to this I underscore type. We will simply double click on to this method. I will go for yes. If I will go for I underscore type, you can see it is not a optional parameter. It is a mandatory parameter because optional is not ticked. What is the description of this parameter? Code for document class. We need to provide the code for the document class. Just go for simple understanding. Suppose whenever we, we talk in terms of mail, we'll say these are top priority mail. These are medium priority mail. These are low priority mail. Suppose we are saying high priority mails belongs to A category. Medium priority mail belongs to B category. Low priority mails belongs to C category. Suppose we'll talk in terms of background jobs. We have class A, class B, class C. Class A are high priority jobs. Class B are medium priority jobs. Class C are low priority jobs. Same thing is here. Whatever the document we are sending, we need to provide a class to that document so that we can easily, easily predict that this particular document belongs to this particular document class. Suppose if I will simply go for that data element, if I will go for that domain, I will go for value range. SAP has given a value table. And in this value table, we have so many document class are there. It makes our task easy, yes, because it is very easy to predict that these 50 belongs to this particular document class. These 50 documents belongs to this particular document class. This 100 documents belongs to this particular document class. It makes our task easy. Just simply compare it to background jobs. We can easily see, yes, these 100 are top priority jobs. They belong to class A. Same thing is here. This is the three digit code. This is three digit code. ALI, ARC, BCS, BIN. This is three digit code for the document class. Now, from our perspective, or I'll say from the project perspective, 99.99% .99 we always use this RAW, this document class. It is for SAP document. Yes, suppose many times for the IDOC, yes, we use this particular document class. Now, you can easily understand by this three digit code itself, anyone can predict that this document belongs to this particular document class. Yes. Now, in our case, we for all the SAP documents we are sending, we will simply go for this document class RAW. This is three digit code because when I show you the description, code for document class. So, this is three digit code. So, I will simply pass RAW. And 99.99% .99 we always go for this because for all the SAP documents, we we'll simply use RAW. I will give RAW. Now, now at this point of time, there are two to three mistakes are there. So it's good. I will check a syntax and we'll correct those errors into this create document. I will go for syntax check. And we will get a first error. Now the mistake I did. I am concatenating with this. With LV underscore lines. 
what lv underscore line i simply told it is a integer data type integer is not a character data type it's a numeric data type and this particular string operations this string operations we can only apply on to character data type character data type means it will be c n d t or string it means i need to change this type suppose i will make it as numeric and i will give the length suppose length i am saying 10 and i will go for syntax check now it is syntactically correct now i told you in the last video we will simply provide that date also in the subject now i will give the subject suppose i will give that date so what is the parameter name for that date the parameter name for the date is p underscore er so i will write that also concatenate p underscore er that I will provide comma. Yes. Now I will also provide this into single quotes. Okay. Now we will check the syntax and I will activate. Only this part will check in the debugging mode because so many changes are still required. And for this, we will check in the debugging. Anyways, this subject part only will check in the debugging. And debugging is most most important tool. I will go for execute. Few changes are required. Now, if I will go for this desktop three, we are concatenating. This is the date. Today is twenty fifth March. Lines suppose as of now zero. Number of sales order. If I am simply doing F six, you can see LV underscore subject. Now see what are the various changes required here. Firstly, we need to give the space. So we will simply write separated by space. Now customer will not understand this date. We need to simply, simply convert it to dd.mm.yyyy format because you all know this is the internal format of SAP date. We have yyyy. We have this 03 is mm, then this 25th, this 25 is dd. So SAP stores the date yyyy mm dd. We simply convert dd dot mm dot yyyy. So we will go for this. We will give the separator. That's why I showed you in that debugging mode so that we can go for the respective changes. I will open this in the new session. And we will go for code changes there itself. We'll see if it allow me to open. Okay, I'll just come out. It was opened in the change mode. I'll just go for display mode. And then we'll do the code changes in another. Now I will go for code changes here. Because at a time you can do the changes in one session. In that debugging mode, it was opened in change mode. So I simply came out and put that in display mode. Now it is changed. Now we will simply do the changes to the date. I will write concatenate. Now, this is your P underscore ER tag. From this, you want these two. You want these two. You all know in SAP position starts from 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It means from the 6th position, you want 2 character. If you want the date from the 6th position, you want 2 character. So I will write P underscore ER that plus 6th position, 2 characters. If you want more detailed understanding, simply refer to the playlist of a back programming part one. There we have a topic substring processing. Now I will write column. Now, now we will simply go for 0, 3. How we can take 0, 3? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. From the fourth position, two characters. So I will write P underscore ER that fourth position two characters 
I will again go for colon. Now P underscore ER dat plus. Now zero from zeroth position because we want this from zeroth position. How many number of characters? Four characters. Zeroth position, four number of characters. Now I will put into LV underscore date. I will declare LV underscore date. LV underscore date length is 10 type is C. Now we will simply simply put here separated by space. Now rather than PER that I will write LV underscore We'll check in that debugging mode. Only this part we are doing in debugging. Anyways, at the last whole program, we will understand in that debugging. I will go for execute. It's taking time. Okay, now it's there. Okay. Now we will see. Okay, uh, just I'll come out. Now it is there. It was already open session. Now you can see P underscore ER that sixth position two character twenty five, fourth position two character zero three, zeroth position four character two thousand twenty five. We are concatenating into LV underscore date. Yes, now it is right. 2503-2020. Now we are concatenating. Now if I will show you LV underscore subject. Now it is looking fine. Yes, this is that date. This is the number of sales order. And we will display the number of sales order. So our this subject and body part has been done. As of now, we will not get any output because the rest of the part has not done. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we simply pass the type first. We provided as a role. What do you mean by type? Type means we are providing the code for document class. Means this particular document belongs to which particular class? I took the example. Suppose we have class A jobs, class B jobs, class C jobs. Class A jobs are high priority jobs. Class B are medium priority jobs. Class C are low priority jobs. Same thing is here. If you will provide the document class, SAP provided the concept of document class so that anyone can predict that this document is for this particular class so we can filter very easily at the last. We checked. Yes, we have three digit code for the document class and we used RAW. After that, we saw that there was no space. So we gave separated by space. We simply concatenated that date, but date is displaying like YYYYMMDD. So we simply use the substring processing. We have passed it to LV date and we are using this variable. And the most important thing, previously we declared LV lines type I. Now we declared LV underscore line types N because we cannot apply this string operation on numeric data type. We need to go for character data types. So I simply took it as N. Now in the next video, we will simply go for this process, attachment process. If I will go for this, this is done, subject done, body done. Now we need to go for attachment also. So we will do the attachment part and then we will go for send process. So that's it in this video. Thank you.